Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to discuss some tips and tricks to make building objects easier and faster for you. So uh, I'm going to use a couple of uh, key strokes on the keyboard that are very handy. One of them is the shift key and the other is the option key. Uh, they can be used by themselves and they can also be used in combination for uh, a number of things. So the first thing we're going to do is in terms of being able to replicate or duplicate an object, the option key comes in very handy. Let's say that I have an object here and I want to put another one here. Now I can go out and pull another cylinder like that, but then I've got to go and resize it just like this one, right? So let's say I've already made modifications to this one and I just want another one of this one. The easiest way to do that is if you hold down your option key on your keyboard before you click on it, and then you click on it, another copy gets created. And I can just keep doing this. As long as my option key is down, it leaves one where it is and allows me to bring other ones out. Okay, just like that. So now I'm going to delete the click on each of these and delete them. The other thing that you can do is if you hold down your shift key before you click on an object, you can actually get it to move in one direction only. See, even if I even if I um, try to move it out, it doesn't move. You see that? If I go too far though, it moves it in that direction. So from any origin point, from any starting point, when you hold your shift key, you could actually get it to come out up and down or left and right. Okay? So that's the shift key. So now, if you hold both the shift and the option key, what that does is then it allows you to bring out an object and bring it out on a line. So it's doing both. It's duplicating that object and then as you start to drag out, it's also dragging it out along that same line. Okay, So that's holding the shift and the option together. Okay, and there's one other tip that I want to show you, and that's using these option keys again and shift keys. Um, if I want to, let's say, take an object out and make a new one, but now I want this one to be smaller. If I hold my option and shift keys down now and I take one corner, it actually shrinks that object or makes it bigger in the same proportion. See, it's getting bigger and wider. And it's also doing it on the center point. It's not moving it out of line. So I'll do that one more time. So I hold my shift and option key down at the same time and drag a corner. I could get it to grow bigger or smaller without changing proportion. And it grows on the center line. It grows and doesn't move off its alignment. So hopefully you find these two, uh, these two keys very helpful in your building.